Virginia is the fifth worst state in the country when it comes to dumping toxic waste into our waterways. This comes out of a new study from Environment Virginia. NBC 29's Alana Austin joining us now in our state capital news with the story. Good evening, Alana. Good evening, Sharon and Matt. And on the heels of that report today, Governor Terry McAuliffe made a big announcement in environmental policy. This afternoon in Virginia Beach, he signed an executive order that reinstates the Climate Change Commission. Now, experts say we have made a lot of progress in addressing some of these issues, but there's still a long way to go. Millions of pounds of cancer-causing chemicals flow through our waterways in Virginia. According to the EPA and a nonprofit advocacy group for clean water, Virginia ranks in the top five worst states for leaking toxic waste. Virginia's waterways should be clean for swimming, for drinking, for supporting wildlife. But too often, our waters have become a polluter's dumping ground. According to Environment Virginia's latest report on this issue called Wasting Our Waterways, 11.8 million pounds of pollution spilled into our water in 2012. The majority of that, about 62 percent of the chemicals, came from the Army Ammunition Manufacturing Plant. Aside from recreational use, experts say we need to honker down on that output for the sake of maintaining clean drinking water. The first step to curb this tide of toxic pollution stands squarely before us. We must restore Clean Water Act protection to all of our rivers and streams, and we need to do it now. Outside federal regulation, some Virginia lawmakers, like Democratic State Senator Donald McEachin, have backed similar environmental initiatives. He says this study serves as a roadmap to guide upcoming policies. That was an eye-opener. And I really think it, you know, the report has done us a lot of good, I think, in terms of pointing out our deficiencies and uh, encouraging us and giving us some thoughts about how to make the situation better. I hope to be part of that effort. Now, from here, State Senator Donald McEachin, along with other advocates of environmental policy, would like to continue digesting the information presented in this report. And McEachin says he would like to propose additional policies, common sense ones, after reviewing all of that information.